Hi guys, Toggy here from uh, Source of Gaming, and we're playing Stellaris by Paradox Interactive, their new 4x space game. Uh, this game is huge, so we're going to jump straight in and look at creating an empire. So when you first start the game, you can choose from a set of pre-built empires and pretty much everything here is customizable. Like you can choose what you look like, you can choose the world you live on, you can choose the weapons, uh, form of travel, and quite importantly, all of your characteristics which have different positives and negatives against them. Uh, we are going to create a new race uh, completely from scratch. Although if you're playing this for the first time, I do recommend starting off with one of these ones originally for the first game and then perhaps dig into a new empire when you've got a feel for what it is that you want to do. Uh, so let's start off at the top with appearance. Uh, we don't want to be humans. Humans are boring. Uh, let's go for... Ooh. That guy is pretty cool. I think we're going to go go with him. Let's have a look at some of the others. Right? There's baby Cthulhu. That's gross. <laughs> uh, uh, turtles, I think Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are awesome. So, yeah, we've got a winner there. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's see what some of the random names come up with. That's kind of boring. Okay. Oh, the Gox. The Gox. Hmm. That's simple. Sturdy. She's a female. Oh, hold on. We don't want to go that far. Uh, yeah, let's go with Gox, the Goxie. Uh, next. Uh, let's see. Names of things. So, we're a reptile. Um, I quite like that. So, let's go to the next. Uh, ooh, okay, so this is where things start getting important to pay attention to what exactly it is that you're doing. So we've got two trait points and four picks. So we can pick four of these things here and we've got two points available, but some of them are negative. So they give you a point back. So they add a point here, but still take away a point there, which would allow you because there's a couple like here, this one's four. So you'd have to have two of these uh, giving you an extra one back in order to be able to choose that four. And I think somewhere, there is, there you go, this is a five. So extremely adaptive is five. How, how exactly do you get that? Because they're all minus ones. I guess you'd have to take three minus ones and then just take the five on its own. That's a, poof. that's going quite crazy there. So let's have a look through what we've got. So oh, we don't actually want to choose it. More food, more energy, more minerals. Not going to worry about those. More intelligent, so we get more output on all three technologies. Yes, we want that one. Uh, we don't need the individual technologies. Habitability. Breeders. Slow breeders. I don't mind being a slow breeder. That gives us another point. Uh, don't want to be a slow learner your leaders do die eventually if they're slow learners then you really want them to have a very long life otherwise they're kind of pointless uh let's see strong for army and more minerals it's not bad nomadic happiness i don't know i've never come across happiness being a problem before i've played a few hours already um, perhaps it's a bit more important later on in the game. So I'm going to solitary for pungent. So other people don't like me because of my looks. I don't think that's true. I think everybody loves turtles, so that's not fair. Uh, reduced resources without slaves. I don't think we're going to be slavers in this game. Maybe in another game. Uh, so we won't bother with that one. Uh, you know what? Oh, leader lifespan. Like 
creation time and resettlement cost, but they can be slow breeders. I don't know if that really helps. Uh, quick live, talented, adaptive, extremely adaptive. Uh, you know what? Let's become natural physicists because we like physics. Uh, we're going to be male. Wrong one. Male. There we go. Uh, Zax. Yes, we like being Zax. Zax is cool. Zax from, is it Goy? Who was Goy? Gox. Zax from Gox. Excellent. Uh, we can be a turtle ninja in black. Yeah. Yeah, we can be ninjas. Wow, the clothes make no difference whatsoever, which I guess is cool because we've got shells. And what kind of world do we want to live on? Uh, oceans, Arctic. I don't think they're going to do well on a cold world. They might do all right on a very warm world, like a deserty world. Eh, not really. Sea turtles, though. Sea turtles, mate. Let's go. Yeah, let's, let's go for a tropical world. And no. Seriously, what was that? Raknakafakada. <laughs> wow, these are rubbish. Um, uh, oof. Goxy. Victoria. Star name is. I don't know. Because, you know, we grew up on this world, you know, millions of years ago. They'd have been like, ah, look, it's a star, it gives light, blah, blah, blah. Um, random, random solar system. And let's have a look. No. Yeah, that's not bad. That's boring. Yeah, I have to admit the reptilians are nice. This one's quite nice as well. Let's go with reptilians. So I am a reptile. So here we go. This is another important bit. So government and ethics. So let's let's start with government actually. So on the left hand side you've got your are they all republic? All right, your republics and your democracies. So these are all an election every five years. I cannot be bothered listening to an election every five years. So immediately I'm going to ignore this entire left hand side. Uh, let's see, military junta. So these guys are every 40 to 50 years. And then these guys are, can do what? Two monument. Oh, okay, so this is basically, I'm the ruler until I die and I can pick whoever I want to replace me as well. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, but I think we'll go with every 40 to 50 years. That's a long time, I don't mind that. So, more energy and more minerals. Uh, more leaders. Leader pool size and leader capacity. What's the difference? I guess probably leader pool size you can pick from four instead of three. Mm, minus 15% cost, that's not bad. Research alternatives, empire leader capacity, ethics divergence. See, I'm not sure on the ethics divergence. Again, it's not really come into play. I've always had loyalists, but I assume later on, when you start splitting your gigantic empire up into little bits, you get offshoots that are like, well, well we want to do it this way. Uh, leader recruitment cheaper. Ships cost less, and ships upgrade for less. I do upgrade my ships a lot, so let's go with the military junta. I don't know. Oh. oh, okay, so I can't choose them. I have to start over here. That's terrible. Right, so militarist. Straight away, I can, now I can have my military junta. Um, let's see what else we've got. Xenophobe, so I don't like others, and I'm okay with slavery. Not going to worry about that. Individualist, so more energy, less slavery, more divergence. More... Ooh, more science. 
pacifist. No, we're not pacifists. We like war. We're military. Come on. Uh, Xenophile. We like other people. Well, we're going to be killing them, so let's not worry about that. Uh, slave tolerance. No, we don't need slaves. Happy people. Uh, I'm going to say more on that one. And then can I also be an individualist? Nice. I can be three things. Oh, look. It's totally changed how... Ah, check that out. That's a cool window. I quite like that. So yeah, okay. So we are an individualist, which gives us ten more energy. We don't like slavers, and people will, I guess, rebel more possibly. More, we're materialists, so we get more uh, science, and we're militarists, so we've got. Ooh, we have more difficulty getting into an alliance, but we get more from having a rivalry, and our armies do more damage, and we're happier at war. So yeah, no, we're okay. So next, empire name. Um, what was it? We Gox. The Gox objective. I think the adjective of the Gox objective. Go Goxies. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> uh, ooh. So what have we got here? Pirates. That's interesting. Oh, human. No, we don't want human. Ugh, stupid humans. Hey, that looks cool. That's like a shield, which works with the idea of having a shell. I'm okay with this. So primary colors, we like being black. I don't think we want to be black on a black background. Um, your primary color helps choose the space color that you've got around you. So black on the black background of space, maybe not a brilliant idea. Uh, purple's not really brilliant. Let's go with red. Red's, red's pretty strong color. Works well with the military because, you know, red shirt, people can't see you when you get stabbed. Uh, secondary colors which is obviously going to be the brown pants because uh, you know just in case you go up against somebody that is a little too powerful Whoops. Uh, that's okay I don't mind that I'll go with that one uh, what do we want what do we want I've used energy weapons most often Yeah, I th we're going to go with projectile weapons this time. Be a bit different. Uh, we're going to keep warp travel. But then I think in this game... No, let's say here hyperspace travel. But in this game, we're actually going to go for locking everybody to hyperspace. And yeah, reptilian ships because we are reptiles. Although, that's like awesome in the middle of the night stalkerish kind of thing. And they look cool as well. No, no, we'll, we'll go with reptilians because we are reptiles. So here we are. We are the Gox objective. We live on tropical worlds. We look like ninjas because we're all black. Uh, we've got a funky little icon. We're a military junta. We're individualists, militarists, and materialists. We're intelligent. We're slow breeders and natural physicists. Uh, our leader, Gox. Oh, wait, hold on. We're the Gox objective in his name. Ah, so he's the founder of our empire. So even when he dies, he'll still be remembered as part of the Gox objective. That's good times. Uh, mass drivers, which will be interesting because normally I start with lasers. We'll see how that goes. Hyperspace travel, which we're going to lock everybody to. And reptilian ships. So save. Fantastic, thank you very much. Uh, we are going to go for, I'm going to say, a small 400 star. We're going to have elliptical. And we're going to have the maximum number of empires. No advanced starters. I said no advanced starters. 
Uh, standard difficulty, so fast and light, everybody's on hyperdrive. And we don't want Iron Man because he's got a cool beard and that would make us jealous. Okay, the GOPS objective. In the eons since first print of GOPS, communities took shape in dense jungles. Mm -hmm. Technological progress has been swift, our numbers have increased. We've become restless. Ooh. The brink of anarchy, the military stepped in to restore the rule of law. Well done, military. New order was established to safeguard our nation from all the threats, both external and internal. That sounds familiar. Uh, now, after the discovery of hyper Hyperlane Network, I'd rather call them jump drives, but hey, uh, the finest minds in the GOX objective have finished deployment of our first hyperdrives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Okay, so here we are. In the light giver system, we've got a trash world. That's awesome. We've got an oddly spelt trash world, a shit's world, a graw world. There's some there's some very interesting names here. <laughs> we've certainly got a lot of trash going on over here. Um, so okay, so this is our home world, Goxatoria, and here's our starting space station and our science ship which we're going to tell it to start off with surveying the entire system so he's going to go around to all the planets have a look and see what's what which will allow our constructing ship to build mines and what have you but until he's done that we're actually just going to send our constructor ship over here and then over here and then back here because he can have a look at these two whilst the science ship is finding out what's going on because he doesn't need to do anything at the moment. Our military ships are going to go for, here we are, so we're on the right hand side. We're in a bit of a corner here. We've got two spots where we need to be able to expand out as quickly. If there's an alien race in either of these spots, that's going to be a problem for us. And given how densely populated it is, there probably is one. So we're going to send our military vessel all the way out here. Then up to here, to you, to you, to you, to there. And then back this way. And, that one. and we'll stop there. Uh, we also need to set off our scientists. So we've got these three messages here to tell us, hey, there's research available. So let's start some research. So physics research, we can have sensors, power plants, or solar panels. Let's go power plant. Biology, we definitely want colony ships first. I recommend that for anybody because you're going to want to colonize other planets. So colony ships. And then engineering, we can have army increased damage and minerals increased by 5% engineering facility or Bethar Lyrian power plant let's go for increased minerals and excellent that I think is us ready to go so we're paused at the moment um, so when we unpause we'll be on normal speed we're going to increase that to fastest speed uh, when you first play, you do normally get the instructor come up and says, Hey, how much do you want me to tell you about things? I told him to go away because he was annoying me like there was no tomorrow. But on your first playthrough, you do want that guy around. He really helps you get used to it. It's not the most complex game in the world, but it is quite a steep learning curve early on. Once you've played for a few hours, it becomes a lot easier to get on with. Alien vessel oh, okay, so let's let's pause. So we've encountered some aliens in in Paul Tov system, which is up here. Oh wow! So our guy's gone and searched all of them already, and there's no aliens there. He's come here and he's found. What are they? That's us. What are these guys? These guys, they, even though we haven't researched them, they are the most uh, 
undangerous, pointless things in the world. I believe they're called space cows. So we actually don't need to worry about them. And they won't stay there. They'll fly between system and system and system. So we're all good there. Interesting. And yeah, that's just to say, hey, congratulations. You know, we found some aliens, space cows. Awesome. So let's pause again. It unpauses when you get messages like that and you click OK on them. It does unpause the game, so that can be a bit of a tricky one. We're gonna. We haven't found anything. Are you. I guess I should have expected nothing on the trash worlds. Situation log updated. Okay, so more aliens, and we're gonna call them beta aliens because you know they're gonna be annoyed about not being alphas. Uh, we should proceed with caution. Where did we find them? Where's my fleet? Down here, okay. So. Ah, oh, we unpaused again. So there's aliens there. I don't actually know which kind it is. Hopefully. Situation log updated. Okay, so more aliens. And our leader's gained a level. He's carefree. So he likes to research anomalies. That's awesome. More aliens here in... Dioub. Also a nice planet. So we're actually good out this way, to the right, and we're terrible this way. But we do want to clear these aliens because actually even though we're clear over here, we do want to be able to expand out. There's probably somebody down here, so if we can block him off early on, that would be good. We still haven't found any minerals whatsoever. That's just awful. What are you doing, dude? Uh, let's pause again. And let's see, where are you going? Not you, you. You're not going anywhere. So you can come down here, then down to here, up to that one. So I'm going to just search all through there. So this way we've explored everything, I guess, and then we'll come back up this way and search these guys. So we'll have a nice area covered. Oh, System first. survey complete. I tell you what, we're going too fast. Finished our system survey. Situation log updated. More aliens, like Delta aliens. We're up to Delta aliens. So pause again. So we found some more here. Yeah, okay. Don't know who that is. We found more here, and they are. Okay, so see how he's got a whole bunch of stuff. This is an empire. Oh, look at we have to be careful here we need to explore all of that and get back out before this guy researches us and discovers our language and can talk to us and then his sphere of influence up here will show here and block off all of this uh, so be very careful military fleet very very careful um, this could go quite badly actually and here our science vessel has finished surveying this entire system and we have found nothing nothing at all they weren't kidding when they called it trash that was pathetic survey that one and survey that one and then survey this one in fact we can keep just coming around and surveying all of these systems because frankly light giver has been absolutely awful i mean okay yeah our home world and then nothing Nothing at all for the rest of it. That's just terrible. What were you thinking? I'm quite disappointed with that, actually. So, let's go back up to fastest. We'll probably find some more aliens around in here somewhere. Situation log updated. Oh. Ah, now these guys are cool. They 
are um, mining drones. And if you kill them early enough, you can research their mining drone lasers, which are quite powerful. At least during the game. This guy is ugly um, and powerful, so we're not going to touch him. Okay, here we go. Here, there's more of those guys. These guys are powerful. And even more of those guys. These guys really like this area of space, it would seem. I just, if you can hurry up and get back out before he blocks you off, that would be really good. System survey complete. Okay, so we've surveyed another system. We found one. One place to mine. This is absolutely awful. <laughs> um, seeing as we've got some minerals available, uh, let's let's design our ship. Let's take our corvette. Uh, small and medium. That's good. So we've got the striker core. Yeah, striker core. Small and medium. Max fibers. And then that's cool that's actually what it was before i don't think we've got any upgrades on these no so we're all good we're going to build a few of those let's two three yes yeah, start with three for now and uh yeah we'll see whether or not there's find anything in this system perhaps that would be of any use whatsoever this is really not a great start for us, the uh, the GOX objective. We got nothing in our own system. We got hardly anything in a nearby system. Okay, that's good news. He's back out. He's escaped, so even if this guy now contacts us, we're not going to be stuck in this area of space. That's good. Um, and then we've only got this other one and this one here. To survey so how much we got? he's nearly done surveying so that one's a terrible system as well you can also build mining stations there um so yeah we better hope that yon is actually absolutely crammed full of really useful stuff because construction these complete. other ones have been absolutely abysmal anomaly found uh no level b for now we don't want to get system it. survey complete Alien situation log updated okay, so we we're moving quite fast let's slow down so we've just found a whole bunch more aliens so we're down to zeta aliens i said pause and we finished researching oh we found research research station can go there so we can get some more physics research which is good news and yeah ah they, oh this guy's gonna be a right pain so what we need to do very quickly is build something yeah i'd like to build it there but we're gonna have to build something i think here just to secure a line so that we can get out because this guy is not good for us i mean if we take a look so he well, I'm not sure what kind of alien he is, but his sphere of influence is probably going to cover this planet. And it's not going to be long before he expands. And we're blocked. We're just completely blocked off there. Which might be fine because we might expand out here. But I would rather have the opportunity to come out this way. Because these guys will otherwise start being friendly with each other and then say hey get rid of that got objective we don't like that guy he's like a ninja turtle so we've got a couple of good planets which is usually the case within your sphere of influence we don't really want them we want to find some that are a bit further out uh, this one one of these had aliens that were flying through Let's just check that again. See, now we're losing, or we're not losing, but we're not making any energy. Because we have no energy resources anywhere at all. That's just terrible. Ah, there we go. So now, build some mining stations there. Come on. 
gun. And yeah. Right, is this empty? No. Oh, and it's oh, it's one of those. Look at that, 452. It's gonna be ages before we can kill that guy. That sucks. That sucks really bad. Okay, so we we're, we're stuffed, I think. I don't think we're gonna be able to compete with this guy over here at all. I think we're gonna to have to look at coming up towards the twin fangs nebula. And what's this? Oh, Hemwich! Okay, I think he's just flying through. Because he wasn't there the last time he went. Okay, let's pause. Let's merge our fleets together. So you, you, and you are now all part of that one. Okay, and you've retained your orders. That's good news. Okay, so I think this is a good time. Gonna say we need to jump off. This is a good time to stop here, stop the episode here. Uh, so we've established the Gox objective. We've scouted out our local area. We can see that we are in a lot of trouble with some nearby aliens, but we've got a few options in the immediate term. And uh, yeah, that's a very interesting start to our. Uh, universal gal galactic takeover of this very small galaxy so um i shall see you guys next time